So in this talk, I'm not going to overwhelm you with numbers and facts. I'm going to give you some histologic basis for why DCIS looks the way it does and some philosophies about when you should and shouldn't even look for it because sometimes you don't want to look for it. It's not right, the right thing to do. And the key thought here is it's more than just nodules or masses. Um, in MRI, second look ultrasound or MRI directed ultrasound, we do much better with masses than we do with non-mass enhancement. Now here are the soft findings. The duct changes include duct extension and branch pattern. These are enlarged ducts, maybe distorted, they might be hypoechoic, they might be beaded or angular, but they're outside of mass. They're in the old birads, they were effect on surrounding tissue. I think in the new birads, they're just called duct changes. Um, and then you have microcalcifications inside a mass, and then you have microlobulations, and these are really the key findings of carcinoma in situ. And more and more, I'm realizing that the microlobulations inside the mass are really critical to the whole thing. But by using these soft findings, we improve our sensitivity for pure carcinoma in situ and circumscribed cancers. And we can actually stage mixed invasive and carcinoma in situ lesions better with ultrasound.